boxes is one and is second now. Hello, welcome back to What My Bet TV. I'm Tom. I'm Ollie. And today we're talking through Watford in our team previews in the Premier League. Tom has done the research. Tom, what are you saying? Okay, I'm saying Watford, not a lot has changed again with Watford. So they still got the same manager. Yeah. Changed him last year. Was Marco Silva at the start of the season. Yeah. It's now Xavi Garcia. Garcia. Um, he's been in charge since January. Only won four of his 15 games that he was in charge last season. Not good for Javi Garcia. Um, they got off to a brilliant start last year under Marco Silva, yeah. but faded badly. Yeah, um, you remember, they were like smashing it, weren't they? They were smashing it at the start of the season. Richarlison was pulling yeah. strings. Everything looked rosy. Marco Silva got a little offer, got tapped up by Everton, didn't go, and it all went to pot after that. Yeah. Um, so they finished 14th last season but conceded 64 goals. They were shipping goals Ooh. for fun. Um, yeah, like, I mean, they didn't have a, a great season, but I think a good season for Watford staying up, really. Yeah, but from the start they had, you would have they'd be thought they would kick on a little bit They'd more. be disappointed with 14. Agreed. They had Agreed. such a good start. Yeah. Um, so key players, um, Abdelay Decore, centre midfield, mm. front centre midfielder, pulls their strings. He is the person that makes them tick. Yeah. Uh, they need to keep hold of him. It, there was rumours at the start of the summer he was going to be off. It looks like they've kept hold of him, which is good for them. Mm -hmm. Also, Troy Deeney is their man, man. Centre forward, been there for years. Lump up to Lump, him. pump it up to him. He'll He's win headers, nasty, hold it off. To play against Always him. class against Arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> Always class against Arsenal, fact. Um, uh, Roberto Pereira, winger, is a very good player, very Argentinian good. winger. Good player. If they can keep him fit, he was injured quite a lot last mm. season. They can keep him fit, he'll do well this year. Yeah. And Etienne Capoue. Capoue. Uh, Capoue. Yeah. Centre midfielder. He's a good player. Scored goals last season. He got um, a nice little uh, first time scorer. Yeah, he did. I remember that. Yeah, yeah when you went yeah. to watch. Yeah. Um, made a couple of transfers. Nothing major. Like, a couple of transfers. Ben Foster is a good bit of business from West mm. Brom. Signed to 3 mil. Okay. Thought that was a good bit of business, mate. Um, and then they've signed Delafeu. Yeah. Um, was on loan there yeah. last season. Signed him on perm, 13 mil. And then they struggled last year as a left back. They had a guy called Hollibas, who's not great. Mm. And they've replaced him, or it looks like they've replaced him, with a guy called Adam Messina from Bologna. Yeah. Uh, five million. He's an Italian left back. Heard good things about him, quite young, yeah. but looks like to be a good signing to them, really. Okay. Then who's gone? They've shipped a couple out. So the main one is Richarlison. Sold him for like 40 million, could yeah. go up to 50 million. Yeah. I mean, that's unbelievable bit of business, I think, from Watford. I know he's one of their star players, but to get 40 million. Yeah, they, didn't get, they didn't pay much for him. No, they? paid like 10 mil for him. Yeah. In, Good business. Made 30 million. They should put the Watford chairman in charge of Brexit <laughs> negotiations. Yeah. Unbelievable bit of negotiation. Um, and then they also signed, uh, got rid of, sorry, Nordin Amrabat. Mm. He's gone to Nasir in uh, the Saudi Arabian League. Sold him for eight and a half mil as well. Oh, um, and then Zarate has gone to Boca Juniors. So, pretty, I would say they're probably about where they were. Richarlison probably means that they've lost a little bit going forward. Yeah, but then towards the end of the season, he didn't really it do did, much. Yeah, did exactly. So I think, to be honest, I think it's good business getting yeah. rid of him. Um, I think they did well to stay up last year. Yeah. Could have kicked on, but I just, their squad I don't think is great. I, I just don't feel like they've replaced Richarlison. They haven't replaced Richarlison. That's going to be, for me, the biggest Agreed. issue here. Um, is like... He's one of their key players and they haven't even got someone who's half as good as no, they have no one. No, they really haven't. I think Watford could really struggle this season. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're going to struggle to score goals. Without yeah. Richarlison, um, they just, I just don't see him scoring mm -hmm. that many goals. Under Garcia at the end of last year, he tried to make them hard to beat, but they didn't score that many goals. Yeah. So it's like, you either make them a little bit easier to play against and score more goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they just I think they really struggle under him. And I think this could be the year their luck runs out. I've said it. I've said <laughs> it. Um I think relegated. I think they might 
I think they're going to be, if they don't get relegated, they're going to be in a dogfight this year. Scrap. This year, they're going to be in a dogfight. If they avoid relegation, it will be just. Mm. But I've got a funny feeling, I know they've been, they've stayed up for a few years, I just think there's a few teams are in and around them that have improved more than they have. So I reckon they could finish 18th. If they finish above that, it won't be much above that. Okay. But I think, I'm calling it early, Watford could get relegated this season. Ooh. Well, there you have it. That is our preview for Watford. Check back to our channel to see all the other previews from all the other teams across Europe. And we'll see you soon. See you soon. See you later. Looks at his watch, any second now.